Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Thank you for staying with us. It's time for us to touch on exactly what's trending in the news. Our favorite political analyst, Ezegu Chukudi, is in the studio with Oliver Knight to give us all the updates and more. How are you doing today? I'm very fine, ladies. I'm trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> Boy. So I don't blush. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Women Wednesday. Wednesday. Who's oh. your WCW today? Um, my mom is forever, Sha. So let me see. I would just say we should just give it to Rodriguez. Yeah, I, I, I think we should. I think we should. Yeah. It's important that we do. I mean, it's a reflection of um, life and the fact that, you know, every opportunity that we have, it's important that we make an impact. And whether you like it or not, we are all, you know, created in some special type of way. And the very essence of living is to touch someone and impact or influence their life positively. So it's not about how much wealth you amass. It's not about, you know, when the fancy the cars. Day, when the person dies, your next of kin will just mm. wait for two days and go and collect the and money. That's why you have next of kin. It's also about the ripple effect that you create that lives beyond your own lifetime, you know? Like Thomas Sankara once said, even if I die, a thousand Sankaras will be born. And, and that that's is why we are begging said. our politicians to please just think about enduring legacies and not about themselves. Yeah. You know, you see, Nigerians are going to see a lot of betrayal. We've already started saying it. Huh? You, know, you know, when it he, when he gets to the election period, that is when everything appears like a movie. So we're going to see a lot of intrigues. We're going to see a lot of drama. We're going to see a lot of action. But I plead with the political gladiators not to sacrifice innocent people on the altar of the struggle for power. Actually, we've already started seeing this betrayal, Chukudi. We saw that in March 2008, or May this year, I beg your pardon, Brooklyn Institution had released a report that Nigeria had overtaken India with the, as the country with the highest number of poor people around the world. So we had approximately a figure of 87 million people living in poverty, as opposed extreme to India, poverty. extreme poverty, and India having 73 million people. So it was reports also had it that we had 80% of Nigerians living under less than $2 a day. That's including all those who are collecting Alawi and all those whose salary is a little above that. But now we have reports by the United Nations saying that global hunger continues to rise with Africa being the worst hit. Now, the population of hungry people is rising across the world. A UN report has shown with more than a quarter of them in Africa. Out of the 821, mil 821 million people who faced shortage of food in 2017, 257 million were found in the continent. Now, a new report as well is saying that the world hunger rose in 2017 for the third consecutive year fueled by conflict and climate change. Chukudi also saw somewhere that in the next 12 years, nine out of every 10 people that are hungry would be living in Africa. And you, you know what that, you know, you know that it spells doom. If nine out of 10 persons who are hungry are living in Africa, now, why this is very, very unfortunate is when you look at the figures and you look at the fact that the continent that is worst hit or the continents that are worst hit, South America and Africa, and Africa yeah. are continents that all you need to do is make concerted efforts and you are going to address these problems. We live in a country where there is nothing that you would cultivate in Nigeria that will not bloom or blossom. But then we have a situation where we cannot even feed our own population. It is sad. Now, the factors that were mentioned, interestingly, are not environmental factors. They are man-made factors. Conflict. All you need to do is ensure that there is equity, there is fairness, and there is justice. Let's look at the farmers and the headers clash. This is something, you know, most times when we say from 12 years, people begin to say, eh, it's in 12 years' time now. Let's live for today. We don't know what will happen in 12 years. But the truth is, when you do not make projections and begin to prepare, you make yourself susceptible and put yourself in harm's way. Do you know that the farmers head us clash that we have today, that certain politicians are coming out to say, eh, they hate us, we hate them, they want to kill us, let's kill them, is as a result of the fact that we ignored environmental factors. The Lake Chad Basin is a major source and it has shrunk to 40% of its normal size. This started over 40 years ago. What did we do? Now we are trying to invest billions in dollars 
to try to see how we can salvage the situation when all we needed to have done was to look at the problems and solve the problems. Now, look at the figures. 821 hungry people in the world. Now, of these 821 hungry people in the world, of a, of a world population of around 7 billion, 257 are in the continent of Africa. And how many continents are there? South America, oh, Europe, yeah. Asia, North America, Africa, Australia, and certain people say Antarctica. Antarctica. And Africa has 257 of, eight, of 821. Now, this is even, what is even heartbreaking is the fact that 17.2%, sorry, 17.2 million of stunted growth of children from five and below are in Nigeria. True. This is five and below stunted growth. We are not even talking about people who are hungry. Let's look at maybe people who have attained adulthood. We are looking at 17.2 million Five and below, stunted growth. Can I even add that that is also possibly higher? Because I remember or recall two weeks ago on Nigeria Info FM where we discussed the fact that half the children under the age of five in Nigeria are not even registered in any way whatsoever. True. So we are going even based on statistics that have people on a data collection or database. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, things are probably worse. A lot of people will tell you that, you know, when we look at these figures, we should even be more worried. Because there are in many truth, unreported cases. you live in a country where you don't know the number of police officers that you have. Mm -hmm. We have a police service commission that is responsible for the recruitment and also, you know, referring people for promotion. They cannot tell us the exact number of police officers that we have. Police officers. Talk more of Nigeria's population. People will argue with you now and say Nigeria cannot be 198 million. Some have even said 200. Some have said 250. I remember that we are looking at in 50 years time, sorry, by 2050, 400 million. If we have 400 million on paper, Lagos, an estimated 70 million. <laughs> Let us begin to think. Now, what we must do now is there is a report and it show, the report is damning. It shows that we, there's a lot that we must do. Let us chart a course that in 10 years, in 20 years, in 40 years, we will not only be able to feed our population, we will also be able to feed the world. That is the structural adjustment that we should be looking at and not the structural adjustment where we're dipping our hands into more aid that is clearly not even helping us. At the end of the day, how much aid are we going to take to solve this hunger problem? Who are the people Meanwhile, dipping their, uh, their hands in the aid? Our leaders, and what is the problem there? You have bad Thank leadership you. who Thank have mortgaged you. the future. The only way to solve this is for the people to participate actively in governance. I begin to ask questions. Who receives running costs? My father does not receive running costs. Even the old man that is supposed to be receiving his pension and the old women that are supposed to be receiving their pension, they find it difficult to receive it. Hmm. You have people receiving allowance, inconvenience allowance, hardship allowance, and the rest of them. What Nigerians must do is to begin to participate actively and say, all these reports that we are receiving, this is not the time to come out and say, eh, they don't like us. That's why they are coming with this report. Because the truth is, we can see it. It's visible. And beyond all this, we need to look at, you know, certain issues that must be sorted out. We remember that we talked about the report, Q3, was it Q2 or Q3? Global, um, the report that was released with regards to our GDP. True. And we saw that agriculture had dipped as well, that agriculture wasn't doing as well as it should. These are the things that, that should bring us home and make us realize why we need to work in our agricultural sector. And because of the clashes, the headsmen attack, True. That was what contributed. So we need to look at security. We need to look at those are those things. They have a ripple effect on See, affecting every other. What you need to do them. is have somebody that would articulate their thoughts and say there is a problem, hunger. Why do we have this problem as a result of these factors? For example, like I said, we did not even talk about environmental factors. We say, oh, you know, wildfires, earthquakes. Yeah. We cannot cultivate. A lot of young people who in the past engaged in farming activities are now in Lagos and other cities riding Okada. Why? Because there is no enabling environment. If we can secure an enabling environment and get young people to, you know, because looking at Nigeria's population demographics, to be involved, you also need to go the technology way. If you know the percentage of those that feed the American population, you'll be shocked. Around 7% of America's population. And what do they do? Mechanized farming. So enough, enough of getting people to fill positions because they are your party members, getting people to fill positions because they can wear suit or speak grammar, get people who are qualified, get people who understand the problem, get people who are futuristic. And how do you get people who are futuristic? You cannot get somebody who is close to the grave.
to chart a course for development now. Wow, <laughs> Chikudi, that was that was below oh. the belt. It's not any below this any belt. This is actually a reminder for those of us who are going to be going to going to vote in 2019 that you cannot get people who would buy your vote for five thousand or a bag of rice because what they do is they stop your stop your hunger temporarily but extend the duration of of which you and your children would live in hunger. So let's keep spreading this message out there. Put people that would make right choices for us. To enjoy more of this, our go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.